Hey guys, today I'll give you the comic book origins of Catwoman. Now, I didn't give any videos for the past three days because I was away on a school trip, which was really fun. Uh, everyone knows Catwoman as the sexy love in the sexy love interest to, to Batman. <clears throat> And also friend slash enemy to Harley and Poison Ivy, since she's also a Gotham siren. <clears throat> her origins begin with her as still as a child named Selina Kyle. But growing up with a life filled with tragedy, her mother committed suicide whilst her father had drunk himself to death. Calling the, poli calling the police for help, she had decided to run away. Growing up on the streets, she made a lip. She was able to survive by becoming a pay thief. Thanks to her quick wits and her incredible skills as a gymnast. <clears throat> the police department in Gotham had called her the most cunning cat burglar they had ever encountered. <clears throat> but, as she grew older, she became more of a bird, more of a cat burglar, uh, by night, that she had actually, that she would soon don a costume. Being a burglar by night, but by day, being an ordinary pet shop owner. When she had heard the rumours of Batman, she got inspired to create her own suit, going for a, a sort of cat-themed identity, with her mask taking the identity of a full-fledged cat. And it actually looked kind of terrifying in the pages. But, <clears throat> with her first encounter with Batman, she found herself in love with him. Talk about love at first sight. But... She would actually uh, change her costume eventually, going ditching the cat mask and going for more sort of a Batman one. With a cape as well, a green one, a purple suit and green cape. If you can call it a cape as well. But she would trade Blow. She would trade fights and feelings with Batman multiple times, but as a burglar, she would also she would also not betray her own moral code, which was to never commit murder, much like Batman's. Even though he has broken that rule a few times, seriously, Batman's broken his number one rule hundreds of times. But uh, not only that, she also tried to convince Batman that she had suffered amnesia saying that her actions were the result of her of her having amnesia saying that she was a stewardess who had suffered a blow to the head after the plane went after the plane had crashed she had actually convinced Batman and Robin to go along with it, and they had teamed up for a while. But she actually wanted to see how far she could take, she could get him. But eventually, she would ditch her current costume and go for a slick, leather tight bodysuit with goggles sewn into her head mask. Which is probably the most popular kind of costume that we'd associate with her. But several different women have played Catwoman. Uh, Julie Newmar, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eartha Kitt, Lee Merriweather, uh, Anne Hathaway as well. 
and Halle Berry as well in that god awful 2004 movie. Seriously, it is absolutely terrible. But Anne Hathaway's Catwoman was really good, and so was Michelle Pfeiffer's, who played Catwoman in Batman Returns in 1992. But she doesn't actually have any powers apart from her, apart from her seductive nature and her skills as a gymnast along with her martial arts training. But, oh, some news in, in some comic book news, Catwoman and Batman have recently gotten married as well. So, it seems all those years have actually paid off for her. But, that's it for Catwoman, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think down below, and I will come back tomorrow to give you another origin story. See you guys.